tag works, scrap wood build off, I need to build something. What should I build? How about one of these? That could be fun. But I need some scrap wood. Hold on. I think that'll be a start. So this came from a pallet that I got from a neighbour, turns out it's oak. Now this should make a pretty damn good handle, but I need some milling first. So let's get this milled up, see what we've got left, and go from there. Glue part one, glue part two, but I need the clamps. <laughs> this is going to be a beast. <laughs> Glued up, done. I now need to clean up this edge, but I have to bang a few nails in a little bit further first because they're just a slightly bit protruding and I don't want to put them through the bench top joiner without doing that first. All of these holes are going to be filled anyway so I don't, I'm not worried about creating holes. Okay so handle is done. I still need to chop it to the right length but I'm actually thinking quite liking the length so what I'll do is I'm going to cut the top off, cut the bottom off and then I'm going to start making the tenon for the axe head because then I know how big to build the actual head that I need. Once I've got that all sorted I can then decide how long I'm actually going to make it because I do want to put a big pommel on the end. Easy bits over. Handle's done, chopped, I think that's actually a good height for it and then the tenon as you can see is done as well so it means I can build the slot for the head around this. Now is the hard bit of building the actual head out of some very bad wood. Well, hi there. Should we do another day then? Okay, so I'm liking the look of the axes, but I think it needs a little bit more. So I'm gonna try and find some different scrap wood to put on the edge, so the crescent blade has some sort of different color to it. Yeah, this is going to be big. So I know this isn't going to be a perfect glue up, but that doesn't bother me because I've got epoxy, I've got resin, I've got glue, I've got super glue. 
it all works to glue things back together. And because it's a scrap wood project, that's absolutely fine by me. Gives it some character, actually. Okay, so handle is now sanded to 180. I'm not going to sand it any more than that at the moment. I'm not going to pop the grain because I still have the pommel. This is left over from my Milner project, but because it's an off cut, technically I'm going to call it scrap wood. Let's go 100. Okay, so while I uh, unpack this, we'll talk about what's next. The main part of this is now done. What's left, probably some gap repair, and then maybe I might do some um, engraving or something. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so axe head all done, shaft all done, but apparently, according to all my Instagram followers, they want me to do a spike. So this is going to sit on there, and I somehow need to make a spike for the end. So I'm thinking I'll use this lovely bit of oak, cut this tang down, somehow attach the oak to the other bit, and then use a very tiny bit to inset it. Lovely. So now I can shape this into a point and I think I'm going to stick with the same design as the handle. I'm going to do like a straight point rather than a round one. What I did, I cut, cut, stuck, turned it, cut, 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 turned it and did that all the way around and then I've lost my point. Well, that's obviously not meant to happen. Lovely point, blade, handle. What more could you want? How about a little carving? How about we just push it over the limit and just do some nice carving and we add some runes and 
things to it to make it look a little bit more impressive because that is going to look epic. Let's put some fire on this battle axe, shall we? So the Dremel didn't work very well after I sanded it because I've lost a lot of the definition in the um, design. So screw it, I've got my spiral upcut bit in the router and I'm just going to go a lot deeper with it just to try and bring that out and then I will attempt the burning again. I'm very annoyed that this didn't work. It did in most places but I've lost a lot of the definition in some of it. So I've got no choice to do it again because I'm not happy with how it looks. So the burning didn't go as well last time, so we're going to give this another go. I've cut out the grooves as you saw me just do. They are a lot deeper than they were before. So let's burn it again and see how we get on this time, shall we? <laughs> Third side, slightly sanded side. I think it looks better, don't you? Spotted beach, I think. Some carved and burnt in, you know, designs. Because it just looks epic, so why wouldn't I? And I am very, very happy with how this turned out. It's about five foot long, about, I don't know, two foot across, maybe slightly more than two foot, but it is amazing. It's a heavy, heavy, heavy battle axe, but it gives you some cracking power behind it if you were actually going to smash something, which I wouldn't recommend. Now, I'm not really sure what to do with this. I am tempted to sell it, so if you're willing to make an offer for it, let me know. Reach out in my DMs on Instagram, and we'll have a chat. But I could give it away as a uh, raffle prize for Maker Central this year. I do have a little sneaky plan of what I'm going to make, which is quite cool. But this could be an additional one, because I am tempted to give two. Um, if not, I would put it on the wall, but I don't really have much space. So thank you Tugworks for coming up with this challenge and making people use that scrap wood they've got lying around. Now, let's go plunge into some villages. <laughs> 